What's poppin'? It's your boy, Young Shofu, aka Young Pillowcase, cause they sleeping on your boy, aka the best young black Pokemon trainer in the motherfucking world, aka, oh my goodness, oh my damn, aka, they in love with the Shofu, aka, I don't have any more. Anyways, what's poppin', people? Hey, how you, how you doing? <laughs> Today we got a battle against Eddie. This happened on my live stream using the same team that I used in the last video because normally when I live stream, I just use the same team over and over again. And, you know, I alternate every live stream. So this is why I have the same team. Eddie has some powerful ass Pokemon on his team. Goodness gracious. You got the, you got the mandatory Greninja. You got the Heatran. You got the Feral Thorn. You got the Azumarill. You got the Latias. The only Pokemon that's not usually seen on every single team is the pincer, but pincer is still very good. Mega pincer is a fucking monster. Anyways, we're gonna hop right into the battle. I'm gonna lead off with Gallade, just because a lot of his Pokemon get completely annihilated by uh, lead uh, Gallade like this. Like he he had a bunch of Pokemon that can I can easily one hit KO with a uh, close combat from my Mega Gallade. So I'm gonna go ahead and Mega Evolve immediately, and I'm gonna go straight for the close combat. Uh, my man is going to go for the Scald. He is not going to burn me, which is lucky for me because that would have sucked. That would have really sucked. First turn of the battle, I get burned. But he does end up taking almost half off of me with that Life Orb Scald. But I am going to be able to take him out with a nice, clean, caped Avenger close combat. They call me Ike. They call me Marth. They call me Lucina. I got, I got a cape on and I'm chilling. Anyway, so I do take him out with the close combat. He's going to go out to his pincer now. He didn't really have much to switch to. Maybe he could have switched to his Latias there, predicting the close combat. But honestly, I don't even think it would have been worth it. So he, he did get the half damage off of me uh, uh, with the Skull. So that was pretty good. Uh, he is going to Mega Evolve here. He is going to Mega Evolve into Mega Pincer, as you already know. But your boy came prepared. Switched right out to my Landris T. Get this uh, thing nice and intimidated so that I can take this quick attack pretty nicely. Uh, it does a decent amount. That's about, what, 15%? That's not bad, considering I just intimidated him. But also, it's not bad, considering that thing is super dumb powerful. So anyways, like I said, I'm going to go for the Stealth Rocks as he switches out to his Feral Thorn. Uh, I figured that since he switched out to his Feral Thorn, he'd probably want to get up his own Rocks or maybe Elite Seed or something like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to U-turn out, go to my Mega Gallade again, try to close combat something. Uh, if he, The only Pokemon that can probably take a close combat... Uh, I mean, he has two, actually. He has the Mega Pinsir, and he has the Latias. Those are the only two Pokemon he has that can take a close combat. But the thing is, Mega Glade is so strong that, combined with the Stealth Rock's damage, a close combat will do, you know, a decent chunk. So, I'm going to go out to my Glade, like I said. He is actually going to set up his Rocks. If he doesn't switch out, he'll die. If he does switch out, something's going to be losing a large chunk of their life. So, I was in a pretty good situation here. Uh, even if he goes to Pinsir... He'll lose 50% of his HP just by switching in because the rocks are up. If he does go to his Latias, he'll probably end up losing around 40% combined with the uh, Stealth Rocks. Uh, no, sorry. He'll lose 40% uh, with the Close Combat and Stealth Rocks combined. But you guys are going to see he does actually end up going out to his Pinsir. The Close Combat ended up doing absolutely nothing. But combined with the Stealth Rock damage, he did lose a clean, I want to say, 65% of his health, which is perfectly fine. So I'm going to go out to my Landris just to intimidate this thing. Uh, take the return if he does go for it. Take the quick attack if he does go for it. Um, but you guys are going to see that my bad luck continued on. Because he's going to go for the quick attack. He's going to crit me. He's going to crit me, okay? So the intimidate and my def Man, I fucking hate this shit. <laughs> I hate it. I go... I have, I have intimidate. Wait, wait, wait. You thought we were done here? You thought we were done? No, he gets another crit. Two crits in a row, two of them, where I would have easily lived both of those quick attacks, g easily, like, I would have easily lived that first quick attack, like, that qu first quick attack shouldn't have done any damage to me. You saw how much damage it did before, it only did, like, 15%, so the fact that he was able to, like, shit, like, he would have done a total 30% damage to me, minus the 12% I would have healed back with two turns of leftovers, but I end up dying because he gets two crits in a row. That's so annoying, man. It's so annoying. But anyways, I do take him out with the Sucker Punch eventually. Um, he's going to go out to his Ferrothorn as I uh, set up Swords Dances here. Um, you know, I figured I'd be able to set up a Swords Dancer too on this Ferrothorn. If you did want to switch out, that'd be great because I'd have, you know, a plus four Bisharp. If we did want to stay in, I'll just go for a knockoff after I have plus four attack. Um, man, it was just really unfortunate that I had to lose my Landers in that situation, though. Um, anyways, I am going to go for another Swords Dance, like I said. 
I probably should have just gone for the knockoff after the first one. Uh, but you guys are going to see he does have the Thunder Wave here. Uh, so I'm Leech Seated and I'm Paralyzed. And I'm pretty sure he has Protect. So this is not looking too good for me at all. Um, considering I did lose my Landorus. And <laughs> I lost my Landorus. And he Paralyzed me. And Leech Seated me. So he's going to go for the Protect here. Um... I'm just begging, I'm just praying to God at this point that I don't get paralyzed on the turn I actually do have an opportunity to attack. Um, because see, you guys are going to see he does go for another protect and he actually gets the double protect. So like I said, I'm just praying on the turn he doesn't get the protect. I'm just praying that I actually get to attack him because if I got paralyzed on the turn that I actually got to attack him, I don't know what the fuck would have happened. I don't know what would have happened. Somebody would have died, some windows would have been broken. My, my TV would have been smashed up. Some would have been destroyed. Something in this house would have been gone. Like, I don't know what... It, anything could have been... It could have been anything. It could have been this microphone. It could have been this damn Fox Amiibo on my desk. It could have been this motherfucking chapstick. It could have been this TV remote. It could have been these tweezers. It could have been this cup of water. Something in here would have got annihilated. But thank Christ, I don't get paralyzed. And I do end up knocking him off. Now here, this was a big mistake, all right? Because this Toxic Crow didn't even have, <laughs> I don't know what happened, but this Toxic Crow had anticipation, and that's that's no bueno. Um, so I actually switched to this Toxic Crow to take the Aqua Jet, but he actually ends up going for the um, for the uh, Belly Drum, and not only do I not have uh, Dry Skin on this Toxic Crow, but I don't even have uh, I don't even have a. Uh, uh, um, What's the move called? Poison Jab. I don't have Poison Jab on this Toxic Krog. And I was expecting it to have Poison Jab. And then I looked at the moves and it had Ice Punch and Knock Off and... No, not Knock Off. And Sucker Punch and Cross Chop. Uh, so I thought I got swept at this point. But luckily for me, my uh, Latios is actually able to take a plus 6 Aqua Jet. Not very well at all. But he does take it, which is all I needed. Because now I'm going to be able to take out this Azumarill with a Side Shock. Where I thought I was going to get swept. So that's that's good. That's very good. Um, and I lived, and I lived to tell the tale. My Latios lived to tell the tale, but he is going to go out to his Latias. I'm not sure if he was scarfed or something, but he goes straight for the, uh, Psychic, which is, uh, not a move you commonly see on Latias. You normally see Psy Shock or something like that. But he goes for the Psychic, takes out my Latios. This man must have had balls of all kinds of steel to, uh, switch out to a Latias and risk losing the speed tie. But then again, I actually had HP Fire. He didn't know that at the time, but I had HP Fire, so he definitely won that. Uh, there was no speed tie there. He's definitely just faster than me if he doesn't have HP Fire. But since he does have leftovers, I'm pretty certain my Mew can take a Draco Meteor even after Stealth Rocks. So what I'm going to do is take this opportunity to set up all kinds of Swords Dances because, you know, uh, it's sweeping time. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'm going to go for the Sucker Punch after the Swords Dance just to take out the Latias. I'm fairly certain I can take it out because I do have a Life Orb. But he does actually end up switching out. He goes out to his Heatran. But Heatran, it don't even matter. I do have Drain Punch on this uh, Mew here. Swords Dance Mew is not common whatsoever. So, you know, this can catch people off guard sometimes. Especially now that I do get a critical hit. Thank God. Oh, my goodness. Wait. My phone. <laughs> Oh my lord, bruh. That is sweet, sweet, delicious justice. I don't know if a plus two drain punch with a life orb would have killed the Heatran or not, but it doesn't fucking matter because I got a crit. So no matter what, I was going to kill that Heatran in one hit. Thank the lord. Justice prevails. Thank God. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm happy I got a crit because I got crit earlier and that freaking pissed me off. But now I was able to come back with the Mew Sweet. And I was able to hold it down. Anyways, I'm very happy about that, as you can tell. Um, thank you guys for watching, though. We're going to be live streaming Pokemon again tomorrow. So come through. Uh, tomorrow being Sunday, that is. Come through tomorrow morning. And, um, you know, we'll uh, live stream some Pokemon. I usually only battle on stream. So if you guys want to battle me, make sure you're at my stream because that's the best way to catch me. Uh, other than that, I am out of here and we'll be back later on with another Wi-Fi battle. I'm out this bitch. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I messed up. Bye. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Wait, I messed all my outros up. Hit that like button, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll be back another time with another Wi-Fi battle. Bye. <laughs> much better. Much better, Shofu. 10 points. 16 points to Gryffindor. And 10 points to... um. <sighs> Ugh, I'm out. <laughs>